Inflation has hit just about everyone hard this holiday season. People are spending less on gifts and groceries, and they're also giving less to charities. Local 10's Christina Vasquez reports now on how that's affecting local food banks. Inflation stretching donor dollars thin just as demand is climbing. Volunteers pack, stack, and load boxes of food onto pallets. The numbers are, are climbing. At a time when demand is nearing pandemic era levels. The economic crisis really did a number on our families. And they are coming more frequently. The budget's staying the same. The, 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 the costs are increasing. As inflation hits fixed incomes hard, explains Feeding South Florida's president and CEO Paco Velez. Their dollars or their benefits weren't stretching as far as they used to. Instead of just having uh, a need at, towards the end of the month are now having a need closer to the middle, even the beginning of the month, because their, 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 their money is the stretching. Their food stamp benefits aren't stretching. So they're having to come to us a lot more frequently to make sure that there was food on the table. And rising prices from food to fuel straining resources. Our costs go up as well, just like our families. Our diesel goes up, you know, it's up to $5 a gallon. Rent here is about to go up over 50%. Needed monetary donations as the cost to keep shelves stocked and the families who depend on them fed increase along with demand. Especially in this new year as we as we help put food on the table for families this holiday season and work through the new year, uh, we hope South Florida continues to support us. And they say they could also use volunteers. We have more on that on our website. That's local10.com. I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.